I just wanted you to know I literally spend tens of minutes getting ready for this every day. So I have to go to wardrobe and get my outfit picked out. I mean, you can't find these holy shorts anywhere. They're very genre specific. And the makeup chair literally spend minutes fixing my hair before we come out here and work on the stuff. So I got this piece of two inch. I don't remember where I got it. It's been sitting around for a long time. You've seen me use this inside the engine hoist to lift up the cab. So I'm gonna have to figure something else out for that. But this thing is almost a quarter inch. We'll see when we cut it. This edge is a little rounded. So I'm gonna use that on the, the back side of the tank and put it between the rails. So if there's a rear end collision, you're not getting through this. It's just gonna, it's just gonna be bad. So it's pretty thick. I got the, the big saw out so I can kind of cut straight. And I made one little mark already. The problem with this thing is, is it's hard to make it go straight. It wants to curve on you. So I'm gonna cut on a little bit outside the line and try to be careful. So even though it's a little rusty on the outside, yeah, this quarter inch, this is going to be big. It'll give us more traction, right? More traction on the rear tires because it's a truck. Ain't no way you're rusting through that ever, so don't don't be too concerned. Now what we can do is flip it over so we don't have to grind so much. Remeasure. Yeah, because we're off by an eighth. I want to go 45 and 3 eighths. Come on, come on, come on. Got it. See how it's angled? So we'll cut down again and it'll angle it in and then we'll just have to grind a little bit. Otherwise, that's going to be a lot of grinding. So now we're closer. Let's see. Oh man, yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Probably 20 pounds of steel. Oh, uh, yeah. 
See, just a little bit too long. Oh man, so close, perfect. Let me clean up this edge. Should have some gloves on. Probably some ear protection. Hold on. Your head's crooked. Straighten out your head. Dude. Still drunk from all the turkey. That's a 80 grit flapper wheel. And it's not making much of a dent on that side. So we're gonna switch to grinder. Whoops, I caught. Another cord. Let me move this saw. Watch your head. Check for fit. Check for fit. So close. I need a different wheel. It's gonna take a while. That shit's thick. I need a new wheel. Boom, I'm in, I'm in. Cool, I think. I think I'm in pretty good. It's not straight. Yeah, maybe it is. Cool, so that fit. Now we clean it off. So I got some of these spaghetti wheels left over.
Okay, check for fit. So, that's the bottom, because we put a divot in there. It's going to go like this. This tank. Loose dog. Loose dog at the neighbor's house. It's not time yet, but I'll show you. you measure five and seven eighths from here. And then you're in the way. You measure five and seven eighths. From there. Let me measure five and seven eighths from here again. Yep. This tank sits right here on this lip. And then what we'll do is I got some more stuff and we'll put it here to clamp it down and then on the back side can't really use this because it'll be in the way but I got some two inch angle I can get my bolt in there no see we're good That will be rear collision insurance. So we'll weld it in here. And that way, if some knucklehead creams the truck, that saves the tank from crumpling and spilling gas and blowing up and all that other kind of stuff. Not that that would ever happen. Okay, so I gotta clean this off, clean that off, get it prepped for welding, and I need a piece of angle for the back. The problem with the back is you can see that that, that frame is slanted. It's not, the top, the, the bottom rail is wider than the top rail, so those plates are angled on purpose because that's how they fit. It doesn't get straight until you get up there. So we're gonna have to cut our angle iron with a little bit of a angle on it, of course. But since it's angle iron, it won't be so bad. It won't be as difficult as this because we're only gonna grind two sides. The top will be pretty easy. And then we slip that in there. And we can probably clamp it into place. And then we can check for level and everything measurement wise make some adjustments tack it into place pull the tank out hard weld it and then we can put the tank in and work on our containment system on the top let me go find the angle iron change a battery i'll take a break 